well 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 with the event coming up in just a couple days here on sunday we've got new wheels and tires let's put them on and let's also weigh these before we put them on to see how much weight we're saving so without further ado let's do it So here's the first wheel, it's 18 by eight. They barely clear the front brakes, but uh, 18 by eight Forge Stars, they're very light, like 20.7 20, 20 pounds or something on a Toro tires, 245, 50, 18s, um, Y rating, so they can go up to 186 miles an hour. And let's just go ahead and see how much these weigh by themselves. Looking at, 53.4 53.4 so times that by two that's 106.8 so we can just say 107 now i will say that the fronts um the wheels weigh about oh i don't know 32 pounds give or take you know it's the same wheels as those the stock ones about 32 pounds so you can kind of do the math uh the backs weigh about the same as well but the tires with the fronts, they weigh about 28 pounds, and the rears weigh about 20, or 30, 35 pounds. So you do the math, that's huge weight savings though, just in the fronts alone. So let's go ahead and grab the rears. The rears are four star D5s. Now these are really nice, nice wheel and tire setup. Let's pull it out of here if we can. Ugh, okay. With a Nitto NT or NT5 triple R's, whatever. Triple R twos, how about that? Here's what they look like. Now these wheels are 17 pounds. 17 pounds for a wheel, which is just insane. So let's go ahead and put them on here. This should practically weigh nothing. Fifty-two point six. So 100 and, let's just say 53, so 106 there. And these weigh about 60, I said, let's see, 32 and like 35. So 32 and 35, that's 67. Ties up by two, 134 pounds, when these are gonna be about 106. So overall, before we flap the wheels and tires under the car and see what it looks like, overall, it's about 40 to 45 pounds of weight shedding just on wheels and tires alone huge huge deal and this is going to be fantastic for my drag racing setup and the half mile event as well to try to get as fast as i possibly can so let's throw these on the car and see what they look like so i ran into an issue that i wasn't sure i was going to run into but you can see there's not much clearance here and here are the wheel weights so we're going to have to probably put a five millimeter spacer there it's gonna jut the car i mean it's not gonna jut it out that much i guess it's it's not gonna be that much five millimeters you know it's pretty pretty small but it looks like you will have to use a five millimeter spacer just so that the wheel weights will clear here they did some inner and outer wheel weights the outers are gonna probably be fine but the but the inner is where we might have an issue but it looks like it's close in here too as well. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I think it's going to be fine. So we'll throw some wheel spaces on there. It should help with clearance in the front and maybe even a little bit of clearance in the back as well. Well, just for shits and giggles, let's see how much the stock stuff actually does weigh now that we have everything on the car. 65.4. I don't know if you guys are picking that up or not. 65.4. Yikes. That's pretty heavy for the rears. Now let's do a front. Is this a front? Yep, this is a front. Let's do a front tire. Wait for this to reset. One of these days. This is kind of heavy, so if this could re there we go. All right, and this is 58.4. So you do the math, and that's how much we save. Now, let's go ahead and roll this off here, put it to the other tire. Let's look and see how the car looks. Unbelievable, five millimeter spacer, 
I believe personally is needed with the, we have the, if you look here, the weights, they clear. If you look at this angle, I had the old lady at her back up, clears just fine. We have like this much room. So if there's any give, which is basically what that is, is any give, these weights mounted in the inside, clear just fine. Again, five millimeter spacer. Now, the fronts. Fronts look fantastic as well. Absolutely awesome. The thing here though, is for it to clear. Clearance is more towards this inner part here. I know it's probably hard to see, um, but three millimeter spacer. So I got it from, Wild, uh, I think it's called wildhammer.com. Three millimeter spacers in the front, five millimeter spacers in the back, and you're good to go. But man, I'll tell you what, the car looks completely different. It looks mean. Now let's do the TPMS sensor relearn, and I'll kind of show you guys how to do that, and uh, we'll be done. So for this part, the car has to be on, and we scroll up to the tire pressure gauge. We hold down select, and it's ready to go. So we get out here, we have our tool, yeah. and we start on the front left, just like this. Good. Good. TPMS sensor is reset 36 35 37 36 now one last thing that I advise especially if you're running light fronts up here like I am kind of almost like front runners I'm gonna have these PSI probably at 38 and I'm gonna have the rears on drag racing to like 18 PSI but I'm gonna have the rears probably around the street 26 cold and they heat up to 28 or even maybe 24, 25 cold, maybe up to 27, 26. But there you guys go. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you like the wheels. I'll end it with some pictures so you can see it out in the daylight. Subscribe for more Zeal One and fast car content. It's a boy Fit City. I'll see you guys in the next one.